you can find the case file of this particular work in the description and you can download and you can check okay readable waste like uh, vegetables so all this what you will try to do is we will try to mix it in a water and pour that waste and we will stir it until we will get a slurry form right so slurry form in sense it will be like a thick watery paste kind of thing and we will try to have some microorganisms which can feed on that right so now here what you can see on the screen is such kind of bioreactor the bioreactor up to this level the slurry is filled plus our microorganisms okay now in that slurry there will be obviously water plus glucose so it's a form of glucose uh, it can be directly glucose or it can be any waste that can be a combination of glucose so glucose you can see c6 h12 o6 right now the microorganisms when it is present in this slurry it tries to help in reacting with the oxygen and that oxygen won't reacting with the glucose it will release energy of course CO2 and H2O also it will release energy so that energy is helpful for microorganisms to grow on a cell basis so it helps the microorganisms to grow on a cell basis so that energy is required for the microorganisms to grow so the here the microorganisms behaves like a catalyst such that it will be benefited by obtaining that energy so for this is the reaction that should happen in order to get that energy and it promotes the growth of the microorganisms but it we cannot directly appeal the arrhenius rates so generally arrhenius equation states that the rate constant is equals to a into e power minus e a by rt net pre exponential factor and activation energy and of course this if you want the reaction rate rr will multiply k with the reactants and its order right but this is for a normal reaction this is not a normal reaction it depends on the microorganisms capability right so that is a reason why we will be pitching into a new form of reaction for bioreactors that is called monots reaction so in the monots reaction obviously we will apply the temperature dependency onto it and we will also apply the substrate concentration that is the glucose concentration that need to be present inside this slurry as well as oxygen concentration that should be present inside the slurry so if you can see here we are trying to sparch or induce oxygen from this hole right when this oxygen comes into this bioreactor vessel it tries to react with glucose when there is a catalyst that catalyst is microorganisms and that microorganisms helps in this reaction and the energy that is obtained from this reaction will given to the microorganism for its growth right so here that is the microorganism growth rate so the specific growth rate of microorganism depends on temperature glucose presence and oxygen so this is the way how the bioreactors or in the bioreactors energy will be produced and that energy can be useful for any other uh, purpose so here the energy will be harnessed out of this uh, harnessing energy the energy can be stored in a heat exchanger or it can be stored in a thermal energy power plant anyways uh, for any purpose you can get the energy and you can use that energy right so now here when we try to model in any CFD analysis this is not a homogeneous reaction I mean so here the reactant species are different so a reacting with b if a is gas b is gas then it is homogeneous if a is liquid b is liquid then it is homogeneous but here if you can see c6h12o6 is a liquid but oxygen is a gas so here liquid plus gas right so this is a heterogeneous reaction and for this heterogeneous reaction the reaction rate depends on this 
terms and each term nomenclature what does it each term mean you can see here right and in order to perform this kind of simulation in ansys fluent so we need to write an udf and the udf is written here you can see so define heterogeneous reaction rate so define heterogeneous reaction rate depends on one is the glucose here the glucose mass concentration or mass fraction is taken other is oxygen mass fraction is taken and it is also depends on temperature you can see here the temperature exponent is also taken and the amount of heat released from this reaction rate it is multiplied with delta h value right and it is stored in user defined memory and that user defined memory is used in the defined source of energy source so in order to give this as an energy source into the our cells or into the mesh that we have generated in the computational domain so that will create a extra source term which is not present and accordingly we are also want to increase the content of the microorganisms so the content of the microorganisms in order to increase so i have multiplied with the molecular weight and divided by this delta h because uh, this also have delta h that is not required so that is the reason why i have divided it by delta h in both mass source of the that microorganisms as well as species source of the microorganism so both have this uh, extra term of delta h so that's the reason why i have uh, divided because i have considered this in this heterogeneous reaction rate that is the reason why i have divided it and into this molecular uh, weight helps in getting the mass of the uh, our microorganisms and microorganism molecular weight i have taken it as 298 so now if you quickly jump into the fluent model of this so here you can see i have activated the transient and with the gravity with the minus 9.81 direction and this is an outlet what i have considered and in the mixture fraction so there is a biofuel with biomass glucose and water liquid so there is a three combination of the species right and there is a gas which is oxygen as well as carbon dioxide in the models you can see so you need to activate the species transport model and we need to on the energy also then you need to go to multi phase the volume of the fluid method so i have taken the first phase is a biofuel in the mixture species you will get the biofuel mixture species obviously i have taken it from the activating the species transport and individually what is this biomass so biomass is nothing but our microorganisms so these are the constant what i got from the internet so i have substituted here and this is the glucose molecular weight this is a water liquid similarly for oxygen and carbon dioxide so that is what you can see here now in this we need to go for the biofuel as primary phase and gas as a secondary phase in the phase interactions the reactions have given this heterogeneous stiffness chemistry activated with the udf imparted in the rate one okay similarly we need to as stated in the previous statement for phase 1 is a bioreactor which is having a liquid form in that liquid form we need to add two sources one is for the extra addition of the microorganism that is biomass that will be added regularly with respect to the reaction of glucose with oxygen because that increases with respect to time so as well as with the mass conservation as well as species conservation both we need to add it as a sources in this two terms right and after that i am applying the boundary conditions in the boundary conditions obviously unless it is inlet is a sparser inlet where it has only oxygen nothing else so i've taken the oxygen as o2 as 1 as a mass fraction multi phase so it is only the uh, gas species present at the sparser inlet and as in the sparser inlet velocity i have given certain velocity you can see i have given 2 meters per second velocity with which it is being coming out of the sparser and the temperature is 350 kelvin right and in the outlet i have given the degassing outlet the pressure outlet what i have given with the back flow as the entire gas presence in that i have taken oxygen as zero and multi phase with back flow volume fraction as 1 right and i have created a few of the scenes here maybe after initialization so we need to create a region so i have uh, tried to create a region also so you can see this is the region what i have created 
this is the region out of these uh, diagonal endpoints and the start point what is the reaction uh, region i have created and to that region i'll try to patch the things accordingly so now we will try to patch the things after uh, creating a region so i am trying to have the entire region with the phase to volume fraction it is it is entirely ga gas fraction that is been patched with oxygen as zero so remaining gas constraints will automatically get patched so now what i will do is i i have initialized this after clicking on initialize now i'll go to patch and i will select the region zero and the region zero actually the fraction of the region zero i mean the gas fraction should be zero because it should be entirely occupied by liquid then i'll go to phase one i'll patch with this with the 0.6 and this with the 0.1 right now i'll just go to my graphics and i'll check how exactly that is looking like i'll select this uh, phase six and i'll be going to this uh, phases So you can see here, yeah, you can see here, right? So here it is uh, the phase one. It is present here. That is liquid, and the topmost is gas. And if you want to check the species, also you can check the species of the BM. So you can see it will be point one at the bottom. At the top, it is zero, right? So now we can. Uh, I'll have created a few scenes here. Now you can also visualize that scenes how exactly they look like. Well, this is the scene what I have created with counter one and the mesh one, mesh two also activated. What is counter one? I'll just show it to you. So counter one helps in getting that uh, velocity magnitude with the mass fraction of biomass because biomass mass fraction try to increase with respect to time due to the reaction, right? Now it is zero because there is no uh, extra biomass that has been formed. So when the velocity becomes more and more, you can see more and more mass fraction of the biomass. And you can see it on the screen. Now I'll try to run the calculation. Will come after some time. So now you can see the phase interaction, the heterogeneous reaction rate. What I've activated, it is around the uh, ox and spatter only. Now I'll uh, run it uh, many more time steps, and I'll record that uh, how uh, the scenes are being upscaled, and I'll show it to you. Okay. Now I saved the files after recording that scenes. I'll just showcase it to you. So this is how the oxygen is coming out. You can see that velocity magnitude. My will will play fight for you. So this is the way how his oxygen is coming out. And I have given the MRF zone to this particular uh, frame. So that's the reason why uh, it is not moving up. So this maybe I'll show it uh, for you the point. Here you can see I have given MRF zone to the cell, so the entire uh, thing is moving. This RPM, that's the reason why it is not moving up. I mean uh, the oxygen, so it is been blended down only. So this is the oxygen, and I'll show in another video to you uh, where this helps in uh, show you how. Uh, the reaction or exothermic heat that is been getting out due to the reaction how it is been distributed okay you can see in this part right okay thank you and if you have any queries you can drop a mail thank you